Hello everybody. I stood in front of this screen stream a while ago and I took a video and uh, I didn't have nobody to help me so I had to make a video to be able to do this. But uh, I stood in each spot, you know, and I'm fitting to show you that. I'm just kind of getting the record straight. Alright, so what I want to do is pull my video down. This is easier than you might think. I'm going to pull my video down and what I'm going to do is let it play until I want to take the first uh, snapshot. Okay, so I played the video down to here. And, man, I'm so wide. I I can't fit all me in, three of me in this thing. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go right here and I'm going to take a snapshot of that, of that picture. And then, and then basically what I'm going to do is let it play down to the next. You can just do this with a picture if you got somebody to take a picture. Alright, see, now I'm sitting down at the drums. I just simply let it play to there. I'm going to go right here, click a snapshot of that. And uh, then I'm going to play it to the next point. This right here is pretty simple, y'all. And you can do video the same way. I'm going to show you a little sample of that. Alright now here's my third shot. I'm gonna take a snapshot of that. And then I got all of that I need. And then I'm gonna remove this off the timeline right here. We don't we done with that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna drag my background in here. You can use any background you want to. And I'm gonna use this. And what you wanna do is put this in on the first line. Okay, but uh you want your background on your first line and uh let's see i'm gonna go to i'm gonna put this in the end next i'm gonna go right down here and put it right down up under it and then uh i'm gonna put my drums next i'm gonna go down to the next line and put it in right right directly to blow it and i'm gonna go in here and put the third one in right here so i've got all of I've got all my pictures lined up. Now, if you wanted to uh, have you standing in front of the drum set, now it would go in, it would go in last. See what I'm talking about? I mean, it would go in last here. Uh, uh, and, and it'll put you in front of the drum set. All right, I'm going to start with this one. I, I ain't going to show you every, I ain't going to show you me doing every one of them because they, it's all done the same way. I'm going to go right up here, and I'm going to click mask, and I'm going to click this mask right here, and I'm going to scroll down uh, to see where it says maintain aspect ratio, and, uh, and uncheck, uncheck that. Now, that lets you maneuver uh, this right here. And, uh, okay. Now, also, you can do this, too. Also, you can show only show selected tracks. So, I'm going to do that. Okay. Now, uh, I'm closing this in. Like, is it, this little leg right here, man, has caused me so much pain. I'm going to cut that off one of these days for too long. All right. Now, I'm going to go right up here uh, to properties. I'm going to click properties. And I'm going to scroll this down. I'm going to check this box right here, chroma key. I'm going to check the eyedropper. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click this. And, uh, <laughs> in other words, I checked the eyedropper in the box. And I'm going to uh, go right here see these four uh, adjustments. Start at the bottom. And, uh, See me trying to adjust it. And what you want to do is black out your screen. And sometimes it looks like it ain't going to do it. But it always winds up doing it somehow, some way. Okay. Now we got that. And I'm going to save that. 
And now you just simply go to your next one and do the same step that what I've done. And I'm going to show you the end result right here. I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. So basically what you're doing is you're putting your snapshots on each line. And uh, you do each one. You click and then click modify right here on every one of them. And uh, and you you putting them you blacking out the background of each one, and when you get all the backgrounds blacked out, this is what it'll wind up wind up with. I mean, it's, I mean, man, it's wonderful. I don't know how it. I don't know how they smart enough to do that. But and then if you see one that that something that ain't just right, you can go back to each picture and you can work on it a little bit more and you, you know just click save it you can go back as many times as you need to until you, until you get it perfect all right everybody here's the picture thanks for watching